question number 138 solve dy by dx is equal to x plus y plus 4 by x minus y minus 6 so we are going to use uh, this is not a homogeneous equation we have to reduce it to a homogeneous equation using substitution so we use the substitution let's call this equation 1 and let's use the substitution small x is capital x plus h and small y equal to capital y plus let's call this equation 2 now differentiating equation 2 with respect to x on both sides we get d y by d sorry so we get dx is equal to d capital x and dy equal to d capital y therefore we have dy by dx equal to dy by capital x let's call this equation 3 now using 2 and 3 in 1 using uh, 2 and 3 in 1 we have d capital y by d capital x is equal to on substitution and rearrangement we get x plus y plus h plus k plus 4 and putting x is equal to x plus h and y is equal to y plus k and denominator becomes x minus y plus h minus k minus 6 so if we find values for h and k such that h plus k plus 4 is equal to 0 and h minus k minus 6 is equal to 0 we will uh, reduce this equation to a homogeneous form so let's call this equation 4 and to find h and k we use the equation h plus k plus 4 equal to 0 and h minus k plus sorry, sorry h minus k minus 6 equal to 0 so adding to this uh, therefore we have uh, adding to we have 2 h equal to uh, 4 minus 6 is uh, minus 2 so 2 therefore h equal to 1 Putting h is equal to 1 we have k equal to uh, using the second equation we have k equal to h minus 6 so 1 minus 6 that is minus 5 so h is 1 and k equal to minus 5 um, so we have so from this we know therefore we can write for capital x is x minus h which is 1 and for capital let's call this equation 5 and uh, this and capital y is y minus k which is 5 plus 5 and this equation 6 now uh, using using 5 in 4 we get d capital y by d capital x equal to x plus y by x minus y the other two terms we we took it as 0 right using 5 so we have this uh, now as you can see let's call this equation 7 equation 7 is a homogeneous equation as dy by dx can be written as a function of y by x if we divide numerator and denominator with x you can see that this dy by dx is a function of y by x so in such questions we put the substitution y equal to vx 8 equation 8 and differentiating equation 8 with respect to x on both sides we get dy by d x equal to v plus x sorry it is capital x capital x e v by d x all this nine now using eight and nine 
in 7 we have v x v v by d x equal to x plus v x by x minus v x cancelling out x from numerator and denominator and bringing v to the other side we have x dv by dx equal to 1 plus v by 1 minus v minus v plus, v plus v minus v plus v square by 1 minus v so simplifying we have x dv by dx is equal to v and v cancels out 1 plus v square by 1 minus v now this this can be solved uh, using method of separation of variables we will bring all the terms of v to one side and x to the other we have 1 minus v by 1 plus v square dv equal to vx by so we, we will split these terms to 1 by 1 plus v square minus v by 1 plus v square dv equal to dx by now integrating both sides we have integral 1 by 1 plus v square minus integral v by 1 plus v square dv is equal to integral dx by x plus a constant so we have this is a standard formula uh, integral dx by a square plus x square equal to tan inverse x by a 1 by a tan inverse sorry, by a tan inverse x by a uh, I have said this in the previous question we have some standard results that is very useful to solve such questions uh, these are some of the standard results uh, I have used the 23rd result in this question now so we have such for if we learn such uh, formulas we can easily solve uh, questions like this where we need integration of complex terms we need to integrate complex terms so yeah so we are now going to use only the 23rd formula so back to the question yeah this is our formula and using that we have uh, 1 by a is 1 here v is x so x is v here so tan inverse uh, x by a becomes v tan inverse v minus so differential of denominator in the second integral differential of denominator is 2v we have v there so minus 1 by 2 log 1 plus v square equal to log x plus c so this is our integral now we can put v equal to y by x uh, let's bring this term to the RHS tan in also we will put v equal to y by x which is our equation v 8 using 8 we know that v equal to y by x using 8 we put v equal to y by x and we will take this to the other side we have Uh, if we multiply throughout by 2 also we will have 2 tan inverse this half will go log 1 plus v square 1 plus v square plus log x so log a plus log b is uh, log uh, 2 log x uh, so uh, that becomes log a b therefore we have log 1 plus i square by x square so 
Hindu. Where? So we'll do one more thing. Let's put this logo C1. And campaigning, further simplifying to tan inverse y by x equal to log a plus log v. We again campaign those uh, to get y plus y by x square and x square get cancelled into c1. So here uh, we can put low, uh, um, where uh, log c1 is equal to c another constant which c1 is another constant so we got this now um, on substitution we uh, to simplify we can again uh, take e to the power on both sides e to power on both sides we get e raised to 2 tan inverse y by x is equal to a constant into constant c1 into x square sorry capital x x square plus y square now we can substitute for y and x uh, from equation Equation 6, we know that capital X is X minus 1 and capital Y equal to small y plus 5. So using 6 minus 1 and y plus 5. We, using six, we have E raised to 2 tan inverse instead of y uh, X minus 1, y plus 5 by X minus 1 equal to uh, a constant c1 into sorry, a constant into uh, x square so which is x minus 1 the whole square plus y square by the whole square so this is the final answer where c1 is an arbitrary constant so these are the steps this is the solution to question 138